Welcome to the Faster, Easier, Better show with your hosts, Lee Silber and Ellen Goodwin. This podcast is short, fun, and jam-packed with good ideas that you can start using right away. And here's your host, Lee and Ellen. Welcome to the Faster, Easier, Better show. I'm your co-host, Ellen Goodwin, along with my co-host, Lee Silber. I was doing digital. <laughs> you were doing digital. I was doing digital. Okay. Okay. Well, digital's cool. Um, Because today I want to talk about why we need to remain analog, but just when it comes to clocks. We don't okay. have to have everything analog. Analog clocks, your regular clock that we all grew up with, with the, the two hands and the second hand. We all learned how to tell time in grade school. Guess what? They're not teaching it in some schools. In England, they're talking about doing away completely with analog clocks in the schools because the kids can't read the analog clocks. It goofs them up during testing time. And so the horror. The Hara. The Hara. The horror. Oh, the Hara. <laughs> I, I just did it with a Yiddish accent. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Sorry to throw you there. You know, I would say this. Um, a lot of times, so as a musician, and Wayne will testify to this as well, a lot of the digital, so this is a big change from analog to digital, mm-hmm. the way music is recorded. Right. It was on tape, then it was digital. Um, but the, the funny thing is, for a lot of the programs, all the controls on your computer look like the analog version. Ah. They look just like a mixing board, just like right. the knobs on, on a compressor. I mean, it's all, it looks the same. So obviously there's some reason why analog, it visually works. Okay, so if you look at your uh, your phone, your iPhone, your uh, your Android phone, the clock icon, the one that you push to set alarms, things like that, it is actually an analog clock. It is telling time. The hands are moving. Doesn't matter what kind of phone you have. That icon is always changing because it's an analog clock as well. They've done studies and they've discovered, like, like, you would understand this, you've got, you've got kids and getting kids out the door on time in the morning to go to school. You are more apt to be able to get those kids out the door on time if you have an analog clock because an analog clock shows the progress of time. Hmm. You've got, you know, big hand is on the 10 and when it hits noon or hits the 12, we have to be gone. It's easier to process than it is digital. You can see the passage of time. Hmm. So that's one of the reasons it's really great to have analog. Yeah, that's that. I never thought of it that way. I remember the falling numbers. Remember they used to fall. Oh, over. yeah. It's, that was a passing of time, but not, I mean, clearly the best one was the, uh, when you play a game and you turn the sand thing over. Oh, right. But right. that doesn't, you don't see the numbers. You don't see the, the you're right. You're, you're exactly Seeing right. Seeing the, yeah. the, the passage of time. You, you can see the passage of time with digital. But you can only see that moment. You can't go, oh, look, I've got 10 minutes, and that's what 10 minutes looks like. Yeah. I bought the biggest digital clock I could find, and it looks a little bit like the ones at the school. You know, it's just very plain. Uh Uh-huh. But there is something about having it right where I work. So I look up at it all the time, and I do use it as a reminder of, hey, let's let's get it together here. Let's go. Yeah. You've already wasted 10 minutes of your time doing something irrelevant. It's just a constant reminder. And I guess a big digital clock could have the same effect, but there's something just about, like you said, watching the second hand go. Mm-hmm. There, there's a clue, there's a there's real a indication. There's a huge clue. But also watching, you know, the minute's hand go as well. I mean, if you're wasting hours, you're well, at the wrong show. <laughs> <laughs> go over to that other show. Yeah, but so stay with analog if you want to be able to track your time, to keep yourself, you know, on schedule, I think school's got to teach it. They can't stop because just because kids are so used to looking on their phone, that doesn't, that's not an answer. Yeah. Cursive teach writing kids, is also out, gone, done. That's how we, I, the I niche. love that because then it's a secret code when I want to write stuff. <laughs> that's a good point. <laughs> it's a little bit. It's all like, about you, Ellen. It's a little bit like the grown up version <laughs> of spelling things like, yeah. oh, we're going to the P-A-R-K. Yeah, when you have little kids, <laughs> right. just write the note out and they can't read it. That's such an innocent one. There's much more nefarious <laughs> one- words. But I, I'm also a big believer in, in a watch. I mean, watch sales have 
his, I mean, they're in a historic lows. They've never been this low. Each year, they top themselves. A new low in a new watch low. deals. <laughs> and I'm not saying you need a pocket watch on a chain that you pull out of your vest pocket, you know. Right. I mean, we're past that. But a watch is one of those things, I've said this before on the show, where yeah. it's in the repair or I forgot to put it on, which is never. But, you know, I don't have it on. I look, Oh, I look at that hole in my, well, the tan line. Right. And I realize, wow, how many times do I look at that all day? Mm-hmm. And so... That must mean it's an important part of making sure I'm on time, making sure I'm not wasting time, you know, and and also just being aware of time in general. Exactly. Exactly. So when it comes to telling time, analog, in my opinion, beats digital. High five. (laughs) All right. Thanks for joining us. We'll be back again next week with another episode of the Faster, Easier, Better show.